My name is Deirdre Sidaway, Respiratory Nurse Specialist in Primary Care working in Ipswich, Suffolk and also on the Committee of the Association of Respiratory Nurse Specialists. This is part four of six parts when we're reminding ourselves of the things that we must do to provide a quality, structured asthma review. And this time we're going to look at getting the right drug at the right dose and the right device for each patient. There are lots of choices and no single drug or dose or device is right for everyone. It's essential that we assess the control and treat at the appropriate step of the BTS sign guideline and we covered that in part two. There are lots of resources available for us and this booklet from Education for Health entitled Simply Asthma is a great source of information. Most patients in primary care can be controlled on low dose inhaled steroid either on its own or combined with a long-acting beta agonist. We must know which drugs are in our local formulary and which doses are licensed for children and for adults. Treatment options seem to cause the most confusion at step three. And the British Thoracic Society and the National Review of Asthma Deaths recommend the use of combination inhalers, that's an inhaled steroid and a long-acting beta agonist, rather than the use of two separate inhalers at step three. So which combination should we use? We covered the assessing the ability of patients to use devices in part three. We must remember to consider patients' coordination and inspiratory flow. Think about using a spacer with MDIs and consider cost-effective prescribing. Currently, the choices of combination inhalers in the order of the date which they were launched are Ceratide, Symbicort, Fostair, Flutiform, Relvar and URS. Remember that the lowest dose of all of these will control asthma symptoms for most people with asthma. Make sure that your practice treatment pathway states not only the drug but also the dose and the device for each of the steps of the guideline. So, in summary, assess control to ensure that patients start on the lowest dose of inhaled steroid to control their asthma. At step 3, use a combination inhaler rather than two separate inhalers and know your options make sure you prescribe the lowest dose of inhaled steroid which will control their symptoms and always check inhaler technique.